You have, would have had a pretty um, unusual youth to a lot of people, I think, being in movies, Home Alone, Father of the Bride as well, which I was very happy to see. Could you describe your youth to us? Did you say unusual or strange? strange? Unusual to yeah, the norm. Well, I think everyone's upbringing is kind of unusual. Did you say yours was not? <laughs> no, I know uh, Alex's dad. It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird situation there. I mean, he and his sibling weren't in lots of really big movies, but it's still a pretty weird situation. <laughs> that's all, That's my call. Tom said that's one time that he'd want Big Brother in my house. Just yeah, like I wanted cameras in, Al- in Alex's house to really? film the whole thing. I, it didn't happen, but I just felt like a, there's like a really good reality TV show there. I think it is happening. I bet you've been recording it for <laughs> years. I can sort that out. Uh, Alex's dad, Ian, mm-hmm. is so money conscious that he asks Alex Money conscious. to not reply directly to emails, but start whole other emails. Well, what is it? So, so that it, you know, it costs less. So you've got the email beforehand. Yeah. That doesn't get sent back in the reply. You want a new email so you don't have all the junk down the bottom, which is taking up more bandwidth. More bandwidth. <laughs> oh, my God. That's how much money. That's, just that's very cheap. Nice cheap really. There you go. That's what I'm going for. We don't want to talk about mine. How, <laughs> mine was unusual. How was yours unusual as well? Uh, I don't know. It was, I had it was somebody... Yesterday uh, on the street, we were walking to go to a restaurant, and she goes, she's like, I loved you and Father the Bride. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, I walked around, like, it was nine. Like, I, I have no idea what that means. Um, well, you're not proud of that performance? I know. You performance. don't look proud of that performance? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. They were like, stand here. Say this word. All right, good. Now go play. Like, I, I have no idea. Did you appreciate working with, with Steve Martin at that, that age? Or yeah, you that, just was, know? that was amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, I was able to take that in even at the age of nine. Like, I, I knew him for movies but Playing Strange and Automobiles was one of my favorite movies and I loved him I thought he was hilarious so I was yeah. able to take that in um, you need to give your bios for you know when you do a play and uh, I had my manager just throw one together and I took a look at it and it says like he made his screen debut in uh, in uh, Home Alone playing Fuller he then reprised that role in Home Alone 2 <laughs> Lost in New York like I didn't reprise anything <laughs> due to uh, critical acclaim yeah, was, <laughs> public demand I was, like, I was like nine years old like yeah I was reprising this role the reason I chose the character of Fuller McAllister Kieran. the bedwetter Kieran. There was no one else for that part. <laughs> it was you from the outset, man. Totally. It was all you. <laughs> well, they just going to get some other chump some in other to do that, that role? No, it's Kieran Culkin. Get me another kid to pee in bed. No, no, no. no. Only I can pee that bed. You are hey. the actor from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, from Home Alone, and also the inventor of the game Buffalo, which is probably the, your big claim to fame. Mm. Yeah, um, talk funny, us through yeah. it. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad that they, they think I invented it. My girlfriend brought it to me, and she invented it with a group of her friends in California, but we've modified Modified rules when we came to Australia. You've, you've not modified. You've you've got overboard on rules. Gone way too far. And people keep trying to add new rules too. I was like, that's enough. No, we're stopping. We're stopping because it's hard to get each other at this point. Because on Wednesday you got to switch hands. So at uh, midnight people are switching their hands and closing their eye and drinking. And you, it's just so impossible to get somebody. Michael got me with a hot cup of coffee in the morning. I was oh, in the no. worst mood. He set it over my shoulder and said Buffalo. And I turned and looked at him. And he, there was like this panic. It was like this five second long stare of like trying to think my way out of it. <laughs> and I, trying to cover the technicality of one of the rules yeah, in your yeah. favor. Cause, oh, what it was was because anytime it touches your lips, you got to close one eye. So I was blowing on the coffee like this. And it was barely touching my lip, and he right. got me. Oh, the totally technicality. Me. Technicality, but he got me. Right, you could just worst. not play the game. I mean, that is an option. Like, no, you could be a 30-year-old man and, like, not I, do that? I'm almost a 30-year-old man, and oh, I'm okay. playing Buffalo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I see people that, that do those. You could, you could just not chug it. It's like, well, then you're out of the game, and you're, done, you're, not, you're no fun. Like, yeah. Oh, play. no fun. You're no fun, okay. that one. That's, but you're not the pressure. chugging a, you know, yeah, Well, with, within reason. Copy. Like, you know, he... he uh, we go back to someone's house and I open up this full jug of vodka and I picked it up with my right hand to pour a shot for somebody else and he called Buffalo. Now, that should mean that I'm supposed to drink the whole jug of vodka. Yeah. Well, if you're fun, you would. If yeah. you're fun, if you're you would do fun. it. <laughs> if you want a fun, fun person fun, would Karen. do it, Kieran. They, they would. And you know what? I'm lots of fun. <laughs> but I tried, I like the panic set through and I, I slammed it on the table immediately. I was like, no, you can't call that because it was on the table. And he's like, no, it wasn't. And I look at my girlfriend and she immediately covered up for me. She was like, it was on the table. Oh, oh come on! No, but no, but we, she's the inventor ca- of the game. I know she needs the integrity of the game. She, did, really. she just didn't want to rush me to the hospital with alcohol poisoning. <laughs> oh, yeah, the girlfriend. Back two days later for me to finish the jug right. because I need to complete the game. You know how sure. much? That's double alcohol poisoning. It was like a full bottle that this big. That's too much. Well, you you can negotiate when something like that happens. I remember thinking like, all right, maybe maybe he's probably gonna make me drink half the bottle. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk him down. 
um, and Emily like spoke up and she was like, "Why don't you Why don't you drink to this line?" Which was like probably about eight shots. So why don't you drink down to this line? And uh, I was like, "Why don't I just do one shot?" You know, I'm I'm, I'm negotiating from a smaller point. Sure. Yeah. Low ball. Just took it. Yeah, okay. He took the first offer. Oh. He's a terrible negotiator. Yeah. <laughs> Awful work. All right. Well, yeah. there you go. Well, Buffalo is going to sweep the country. It's going to be the new craze okay, <laughs> in Australia. You're going to fly out of here, and people are going to be drunk and vomiting everywhere. That's great. It'll be like Independence Day with the the fire following after yeah, the plane. Yeah, everyone shaking their fists. <laughs> Culkin. That's what they'll say.